Hello, my name is Hannah and I wanted to show you today how to play a very simple string game which is called Cat's Cradle. Cat's Cradle is usually played, I think, with two people, but I'm going to show you how you can do it all by yourself. All you need is a piece of yarn or string, and the size loop that you need to make depends on what size you are. So an easy way to measure it is to take your string and wrap it around your forearm like this, and you should be able to make at least two loops, um, maybe a bit like about two and a half, two and a little extra. So once you have your piece of string long enough, tie the two ends together and trim off the extra. Okay, let's get started. A lot of string shapes that you can make are gonna start with this beginning, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently since we're just playing by ourselves. We're gonna wrap it around the outside of our hand. Like that. And then you're gonna take the string that's in between by your pinky and wrap it around the front and come back through the same spot by your pinky. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now it looks like this. And we're gonna pick up the string with our middle finger. And now we have our cat's cradle shape. So this is the first shape. All right, so step one is to take your thumbs and go under the first string over the second string and pick up the third string. From here, you're going to drop all but your thumb and your pointer finger. So we're just going to slide our fingers out there. And you have this X, double X's. All right, now you're going to tilt the string so that your right hand is up higher and you're going to take your left hand and match up your thumb and pointer finger and slide it so you have these parallel lines. So now our pinkies are free and we're going to go under, over, pick up the third string. And you're going to drop your thumbs and go again, under, over, pick up the third string. All right, from here, we're gonna pull our, pink, our uh, pointer fingers out, and you can use your other hand to help you. So we're just gonna slide the pointer finger out so that it looks like that. Tighten it back up again, and then we're gonna put it back over our pointer finger. So basically, we just needed to drop one of those strings there. All right, now you're gonna drop your thumbs, and again, go under, over, pick up the third string, and then you're gonna drop all your fingers except for your pointer and your thumb. So basically you're, you're dropping your pinkies here and you're back at the double X's. And then you just try to keep going without messing up. This is how you can keep yourself busy and that's part of the challenge. So we're gonna slide our fingers through and straighten that out, our parallel lines, under, over, pick up the third, drop the thumbs, under, over, pick up the third, and we're gonna slide our pointer fingers out, slide them back in, drop the thumbs, under, over, pick up the third, drop the pinkies, and we're back. So obviously, if you mess up anywhere, it's not gonna work. I usually try to go faster and faster until I finally mess it up. start one more time at the beginning so you can see it again. Wrap it around your three fingers and 
on this side, wrap it around, come and pick up the palm strings. We're at Cat's Cradle. Go under, over, pick up, drop. Straighten that out into your parallel lines. Under, over, pick up the third, drop your thumbs. Under, over, pick up the third. Now we do the pointer fingers. Drop your thumbs. Under, over, pick up the third. Drop your pinkies. Okay, so for Jacob's Ladder, you're gonna start with the string over your thumb and between your pinky like this with both hands and you're gonna walk over, pick up the string with your pointer finger, just like that. You're gonna drop your thumbs, and you're gonna go all the way and pick up the furthest away string by your pinky with your thumb. Then you're gonna go over, under, and pick up the third string, and you're gonna drop your pinkies. Then you're gonna go over and under and pick up that string. And you're gonna drop your thumbs. And now we have cat whiskers. All right, so now you're gonna go over these two and pick up the third string again with your thumb. All right, this part can be a little bit tricky. So you're gonna come over to your pointer finger and pick up the string that's looped around there and put it over your thumb and then pick up the thumb string and put it over. So that's gonna crisscross. Let me show you again. This one goes over your thumb, this one goes over that in the other direction. And now you're gonna take your pointer finger and put it right in the little triangle that you've made and you're gonna kinda of do like a little flip. So I'll show you a couple times. This is stick your finger in and do a little flip. And there is Jacob's Ladder. So if you pull the two strings apart right there, it'll come apart really easily without a tangle. Let me see if I can show you again. Drop your thumbs, pick up the last string, go over and under, drop your pinkies, go over and under, drop your thumbs, go over the two and pick up one, and then we're gonna do our little swap there with the string on our thumb and pointer finger. Put your pointer fingers in the little triangle and flip over for Jacob's Ladder. Okay, now I'm gonna show you one that's called the Witch's Broom, or I've also seen it called the Eagle's Claw. So you can do this in two ways. The first way I'm gonna show you you start, just like we did with Jacob's Ladder, with the string set just like that, and you're gonna pull it through so that it looks like that. And then you're gonna pull it through one more time. All right, so now you're gonna take your thumb and your pinky and go under, inside this little pocket you made, and you're gonna pick up with your pinky and your thumb right there, and you're gonna pull them through. And now you have that. So now we're gonna flip and put our fingers inside those holes that we made. So pinky stays out, but your other three fingers are gonna go through, and then you just pull this thread on the other side, and there's your broom. faster. You just pull this through, flip your fingers, and there's the broom. All right, the other way might be a little bit easier. So we're going to use two hands, just like we did for Jacob's Ladder. And we're going to, when, when you pick up this side with your pointer, you're going to make two twists like that. Then you're going to come pick up this side Leave those twists in there and just pick, come pick up that side there. And then you're gonna let go of all of them except for this pointer finger that had the twists. And there it is. And 
one, two. Pick this up, and then, oh, there we go. All right, that's how you do it all by yourself, folks. Um, if you look online, you can find a lot more shapes that you can make with string. You can do a flower. Um, I've seen like rabbit and dog that you can make on there. So this is just to get you started and I hope you have fun.